Hi friends! Today, there will be no video that is familiar to you with the description of a particular design. I decided to dilute a little boring content for some with something new. It is always interesting to watch how others work, spend their day and how they live, so this video will be dedicated to one day of the radio amateur. Well, actually it lasted more than one day because I also had to capture everything that happened. In general, I will silently work creating another electronic device. And you, if you are interested, look at this process. The video turned out to be long, so before going to bed, it's the best. In this video, I show the entire process of assembling a 12220 pulse voltage converter with a modified output sine wave and with all the necessary protections. This is a common car converter that can be bought at any store. And I am sure that if you need one, you will simply buy it and will not go through all that will be shown in this video. And it is right. If anyone is interested in the details, I already shot a video about the same converter and published it on the channel. Specifically, the inverter was asked to be made by a good friend, purely as a remembrance. It didn't make sense to shoot another video, but on the other hand, people need to show how much effort, time and soul is invested in each project. So I hope you like it. Well, in the end, I would like to tell you about the sponsor of this issue, GLCPCB, which manufactures printed circuit boards of any complexity, shape and number of layers. In addition to circuit boards, the company offers industrial 3D printing services, production of soldering stencils for SMD soldering and assembly of circuits. And if you ask why I don't order boards from them for this project and don't suffer with home methods, I will say the following. I have ordered SMD versions of these boards for a long time. I ordered boards, but I forgot about stencils. Soldering them without stencils is too hard. Therefore, we will use the one-sided DIP version. You will find the link to the GLC website in the description. As always, in the description there will be a complete archive of the project with printed circuit boards, Gerbers for ordering them at the factory and other useful information. Also, please leave a comment under the video. Is it worth it to make such a video? At least from time to time, it is very important for me. Well, now I can only wish you a pleasant viewing. Let's begin.